Hello Beauty News family, we're back for a different video, sort of a twist on a makeup breakup. So this is sort of like debunking internet myths. Um, so what happened over the last week or so was that there was a video that went viral on Facebook and it was a lady called Stephanie Marie who had an e.l.f. primer and was saying that it didn't contain anywhere near what she thought it was going to contain and that she was, wait, let's have a look, flabbergasted and it was the height of deception. I was flabbergasted. I couldn't even believe it. I thought this is like the height of deception. She was making a point that this was really disappointing to her and she wanted to expose Elf, essentially. Okay, so the caption of that video was, be warned, stay away from Elf, which is a huge statement to make. Mm. And what kind of annoyed me about this, not only could that potentially be defamation, be careful lady, um, was that a lot of people just couldn't see this for what it was. So um, originally we totally dismissed this video and we're like, that's an airless pump. Fake news. Fake news, move right along. Yeah. But over the last week, um, not only when we originally saw that video, it was around 200,000 views. Now it's up to 7.2 million views. Yeah. And we've repeatedly been receiving uh, messages and comments saying, can you verify this? Yeah. We also put a poll on YouTube and thousands of people wanted to see it, the vast majority. So even though I'm sure, I'm sure most people know it's fake news, they wanted to see us give it a go. So that's what we're going to do. Now let's break down the video. What was happening in the video? All right. So Stephanie essentially uh, opened up her e.l.f. primer after using it for, I believe she said three, three weeks, weeks yep. uh, using half a pea size amount of product every day. Mm -hmm. And she finished the product and she was curious as to why it finished as quickly as it did. She claimed that she thought she would get a year's worth of use out of this product when she purchased it. It's a six dollar product in the U.S. She thought it was a good deal. I use. I started using it every day, um, and I only needed really a tiny, tiny little bit each day. So I thought the size of this container would probably last. It was worth it the price because it would probably last me about a year. Well, after about three weeks, I was having trouble with the pump getting anything out of it. So she unscrewed the cap of the bottle and she realized that there was another container inside so she unscrewed the outside container and that is when she discovered what we know to be the airless pump a used up airless a pump. used up airless pump and she claimed that the amount of product that the bottle could hold was only a quarter of a cap full yeah yeah which is funny though because she's saying she's been using it for three weeks straight um you know about half a pea-sized amount um and that that doesn't compute with fitting into a quarter of a cap but sometimes a glaringly obvious isn't so obvious to everyone so we thought we would verify not only if this is a airless pump but also we're going to explain what an airless pump is for the people mm -hmm. that aren't too sure and then also see if it contains the 14 mils of product that the packaging says and how many pumps so for people that actually want to know how much product you can or how long this will last you how many applications We'll be able to answer that as well so if you're familiar with airless pumps and we don't need to mansplain how big 14 mils is to you feel free to use the timestamps below but if you are unaware of what an airless pump is and how they work and how they look and how to spot them we keep will watching. show you yeah all right so let's start off by talking about what airless pumps are we have some airless pump products here um and i think the best one to show you is this little guy so essentially what an airless pump is, is it is a bottle without a tube or dropper. It just has a pump applicator at the top and it has a level that then goes up as you use the product. How it works is when you press the pump, it creates a vacuum in this chamber and at the bottom of the bottle, there is a little hole and that hole allows for the vacuum action to pull this um, level up and dispense the product into the pump and then out of the pump. So the more you use it up, the more the level 
guys up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now, this is a great example of an airless pump, and we'll insert a picture of this compared to one that's almost finished. You'll clearly be able to see uh, how the airless pump has worked throughout the life of the product. Then we have some more here, and these ones are not as obvious because they're covered with um, like the packaging. It's either opaque or it has a label over it. This Dermalogica one does have a little indicator on the side, which is really cool, and some brands do this, where you can watch the product go up as you use it. So you can see when you're getting close to the end. This one here, the um, Hyaluronic Serum, it has no obvious signs that it's an airless pump, except for the little hole at the bottom. This one here is also an airless pump, um, one that you can't tell is an airless pump and the packaging itself is very different to any other airless pump that we've ever experienced. However, again, we have the little dot at the bottom of the bottle. Also what this one demonstrates, which is interesting, is that airless pumps can be very big and bulky. So this one only contains six mils of product. Mm -hmm. So if you looked at this compared to say, um, another serum from the brand, you'll expect that this one to have more product. But in reality, this one is six mils, this one's 15 mils. And it's just because the packaging generally tends to be a bit more bulky. Another example of an airless pump is this lipstick from Elizabeth Arden. Um, so essentially what happens is the little um, level inside there pushes up as you use it and you might be able to notice that this one's clear. If we compare it to a new one you can totally see the difference. The lever has pushed all of the product up as it's been used and this one is empty. This one is brand spanking new. So some people might be wondering why have airless pumps? They generally are more expensive and you often find them more in expensive products like this skincare here with the gold, the fancy gold. Um, but this is a foundation that has been used up and you can see all the product that's around the sides that is essentially going to waste unless you want to open it up and dig it out. If this had an airless pump, that would all be clean. You would have used up the vast majority of the product without it just being on the sides and going to waste. So they are a better packaging design. They just cost more and that's why you see them in fancier brands and less common in cheaper drugstore brands. All right, airless packaging out of the way. We know what it is, we know how it works, we know why it's cool. Let's talk about volume. So volume is a very important thing to be aware of when you're purchasing products. Um, these two products here are 10 mil products and this one here is a 15 mil product. Now when you look at them, they look about the same. So you might assume that they contain the same amount of product, but they don't. And if you don't read the label, then you could easily miss that. When we look at the ELF product, things look much different again. It, you can be forgiven for thinking there is more product in there. Yeah, and that's exactly right. And that's why you need to know that this looks like roughly 15 mils. This is roughly 10 mils. And in between is what you're actually getting in here. Mm. It's very important. Once again, it's got this syndrome. Yeah. This contains a tiny amount of product, but it looks like really big packaging. Um, it's because of the design of the pump. So it, it comes down to being aware of what you're buying and what volume represents. As you can see here, we've got two e.l.f primers. These are the tone adjusting neutralizing green 14 mil primers that were mentioned in the video. Reason we got two is because we want to compare an empty one to a full one when we're done. Now we are going to pump one of these into um, a little beaker and measure it. Uh, the lady who made the video said that it only lasted her three weeks and she might be right. We don't know what's in there until we pump it out. So Let's do some pumping. Here we have a beaker, which we'll be um, pumping into. Usually we would use a graduated cylinder, but this is a very thick product and we think we'll have troubles using a graduated cylinder. We know these little beakers aren't as accurate, but it should give us a, a, an idea, basically. So the 14 mil mark is about 
here. So you can see that there's really not much product. So you need to be aware yeah. of how much 14 mils is yeah. before you think it's going to last you a whole year of use because yeah. 14 mils is, it's, it's not much guys. No. That's it. 57 pumps. Not too bad, actually. It looks disgusting. It looks like worms. It does. It looks like green worms. <laughs> this would be great for Halloween. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, there is definitely 14 mils in there. Uh, you know, maybe a little bit more, but not too much more. So the, it, the packaging is correct. You're getting 14 mils and you got... 57 pumps out of it exactly so unless this lady is using heaps of product yeah you can you're getting a month and a half nearly two months nearly two months if you're using one pump and one pump was a lot of product yeah. all over your face you'll get 57 days worth of use yeah out of this product so i don't understand how she got three weeks with using half a pea size yeah that's full of shit does not compute no so you can probably notice a difference already this is the one that we've just pumped the product out of and this is the one that is brand new you can see the platform here and it is gone here this is the new one there's a pump mechanism and this is the used one there's pump mechanism so this is where uh, the lady in the video was saying that the, you can see that it's a small container within the container because she thought the base of the mechanism was the actual yeah. container that held the product. It's, it's not, not the case, factual. it's just a part of the packaging. Okay, so what did we learn from this video? Well, we learned that this is fake news. Yeah. 110% fake news. And it's actually old fake news. Yeah. So many of you will know that this e.l.f. primer, um, it, the packaging and what it contains uh, has been a topic of discussion since it was released. Um, the, the bulky packaging and small amount of product um, has surprised a lot of people when it was released to market. However, now we just know that it's bulky packaging because yeah. it's an airless pump. Yeah, and I think it also goes to show that you really need to inform yourself and look at how many mils or grams of product you're getting so you're not disappointed when you're surprised that it ends because it's not... You, yeah, you can't just assume that the packaging is going to reflect exactly what you're getting inside. Yes. Um, but I think this is a little bit of a frustrating one because, um, you know, she made it out to be such a deceptive thing. But with a quick Google search, she would have been able to find out straight away that she's wrong. Yeah. She's wrong. She is um, wrong. And, but instead she got on, of course, typical. She got on a video, decided to put on social media. It went viral. Put the brand on blast for something that they actually aren't even guilty of. No, but what I think is also um, surprising is that we found out that you get 57 pumps mm. roughly yeah. of product. And that's actually, if you use one pump per day, that's nearly two months worth. So when she said that she was using the smallest, minute amount. Half a pea, I think she I said. Think, I think she's full of crap. Um, yeah, because I think that's not true. No, you to use to use it in three weeks, you'd be using two to three pumps um, every time you're doing your makeup. And this product in itself is like a mini travel size of the full size anyway. So if you did want it to last longer, there's a 30 mil version. So if you're getting over double the amount and say the small one has nearly two months worth, mm. this can potentially last you, the, the larger one, six months if you're yep. quite conservative with the amount of product you use. Uh, but her expectations were way too high when she thought that she could buy a 14 mil product $6 for product. $6 and it lasts her a whole year. That Just is... that mentality, you're going to be let down because that is, yeah, your expectations of what a primer can do and how long it can last and how far your dollar can stretch is... Yeah, you were off with the fairies, my love, so... It's, yeah, it's completely unrealistic. There's actually not many 
makeup items that you can use every single day for mm-hmm. a year that will actually get you through a year. Yeah, they exactly will, right. They will, most of them will only last three to six months. Especially if it's a product that covers your whole, your entire whole face. face. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a load of bullshit. It's fake news. And yeah. I hope that people will learn from this to instead of clicking on things and sharing and being like, oh, my God, deception, mm. height of deception, flabbergasted. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Instead of doing that, put your turn your brain on just yeah. a little bit or do, do a, a little bit search. of research. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was pretty obvious from the get go yeah. where this went wrong and what it was. And Alf delivers exactly what they said they would. Yeah. 14 mils of product and nearly two months of use. Yeah. Soz. Now, we do love to uh, destroy things and debunk things on beauty news. So, you know, go forth and create those Facebook videos. Yeah, and then if you find some really fun ones that you want uh, to be myth busted, let us know and and we'll happily do it. So, yeah. Thanks, Stephanie Marie, for the fun video. But uh, now you know what an airless pump is. No more coming for Elf over that stuff. Yeah. Because that's... uh, it's a cool mechanism. And take your very, very, very affordable primer and enjoy it. Exactly. Six bucks. Don't complain. Don't complain. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.